Hey, what's up guys? Chris Cohen here and today or this week or whenever you're watching we're gonna do something different. I'm sure you guys know about like Daniel Schiffer and James Matthews they've created this really cool hyper stylized b-roll shots and sequences and I was watching them and I was like this is really interesting and I was like I should try this right because it looks really cool. So I went out shot with a client and I'm really happy with the result and it was the first time that I was trying something like this and it's really really interesting and really cool so I'm gonna talk about it but before we do that let's take a look at the sequences Pretty cool, huh? Um, one of them is like more, even more hyper stylized. I went like very quick cuts and very quick sweeps and things like that, as well as sound design. And the second one, the espresso martini one, was uh, a bit more toned down, but I really like both of them. But make sure you guys let me know what you think in the comment section. When it came to like shooting, I watched Daniel's and James behind the scenes basically, and I was like, that's very interesting. So basically it was all handheld. It was shot with the A6300 as well as Sigma lenses. And it was actually, believe it or not, it was actually shot with autofocus on. Even though James Matthews is like, no. I was like, why not? So I tuned the settings of the camera a bit and then I went with autofocus because we we're moving so fast that it was really hard for me to pull focus, especially with some lenses. You need to have very good lenses to be able to do very precise manual focus. And some lenses are not the best because they lack electronic. They're not like the old school manual lenses. So it was very tricky. So I tested autofocus and it worked quite well, actually, I would say. So I was surprised about that. So I used my LUTs for grading, link in the description below, and that was it. And then it all became about post-production, which is, I think, where the magic happens is how you're gonna link the shots and of course having the shots in mind while you're shooting, it's extremely important. And then sound design and some effects here and there. And yeah, I'm very happy with the result guys and I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you would like a more in-depth kind of like discussion on the topic. Even though, like I said, guys, I mean, James Matthews and Daniel Schiffer are really good and you should definitely go and check out their stuff. But I think I did pretty fair. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys next week because we just passed 80K. 
actually, and it became a bit faster than what I was expecting because I wanted to do something cool about it. But uh, we'll see. I think I think next week I'm gonna try. But yeah. Anyways, guys, stay awesome, stay creative, and I'll catch you on the next one.